week three. So this is going to um, be interesting because I am recording this during week four, reflecting on week three while I'm thinking about week four. As of right now, I am a little over 4% done with my overall goal for the year and a little over 50% done with my January goal, which I am recording this on January 25th. So being about 53% done with a goal that I'm trying to meet by January 31st, yeah, it's not. I'm not gonna 100% that one. Whoops. Last week I had my first zero word day, which if I'm looking at my spreadsheet and I'm going down the column that has all of my daily totals, there is now a day that has zero. And to be clear, to succeed in writing, you do not, or probably should not, have to write every day. I do because it just helps me keep the momentum going. Um, but when I hit a day where like I don't write anything, I don't even remember what happened that day. It must have been a weekday when I worked all day and I don't write anymore for my day job, which is fine. Um, there must have been a day where I just didn't do anything. Last week I was making some travel plans and that makes me very anxious. So, um, my anxiety prevented me from doing a lot of writing. Um, I had a couple 1,000 word days. I had one day where I didn't write anything. These things are going to happen, but there is a difference between barriers that you can control and barriers that you can't. I cannot tell my brain, don't be anxious right now, I need to write something. That is not how it works. However, I can do my best and try to write despite my brain being stupid. Or I can just say, okay, I need to let my brain rest, so I'm not gonna write as much today, and I will just continue on tomorrow, and not try to write more tomorrow, but just try to write the normal amount and see how it goes. The more open and honest you are with yourself about the barriers that you face to your writing, um, the easier it's going to be to get over those barriers. So, if you just wake up tomorrow and you think, oh, I don't feel like writing today. I'm just not gonna do it. Um, you're gonna feel guilty. You're going to feel frustrated. You're going to continue to ask yourself, well, I didn't feel like writing, but why didn't I just write anyway? And those are not good feelings to approach writing with because attitude is a big part of it, whether we want to admit that it is or not. And I'm not saying you have to approach writing with like happy rainbow sparkly unicorn attitude all the time. Uh, there are days I wake up and I don't want to write and I'm not going to be super optimistic about it. I'm not going to tell myself, oh, just write and you'll feel great because I know sometimes that that's not the case. I will write and I will still not feel great, but I will have gotten the writing done and it, it is what it is. So say you wake up tomorrow and you think, oh, I'm just not feeling great, I had a really rough week, I feel like I need some time just for myself to just decompress. That is different than saying, I don't feel like writing, so I'm not going to. You are openly admitting to yourself, I had a really rough week, I'm having a hard time, I cannot do the writing right now. Because even though that is still technically an excuse, it's more than just saying, I don't want to do it. It is saying, there is a reason why I cannot write what I want to write today. And there's nothing I can do today that's going to change that. But I would like to put some strategies in place for when this does happen again. Because if you're aware that today you didn't write because you were anxious, for example, the next time you are feeling anxious, you will feel less guilty about not writing because you're able to recognize in general, when I am feeling anxious, I'm not going to get a lot of writing done. That is how it is. I cannot control that. 
But when I'm not feeling anxious, I there are things writing-wise that I can control. Or when I am no longer feeling anxious, I can set up a schedule for myself so that I build up a buffer. I need to talk more about this whole buffer thing because I just keep talking about it. I'm going to get a little ahead to give myself some room so that if there is a day, which there likely will be, that I am feeling anxious and can't write, then I don't fall behind. It is just a day where I don't write and that is fine. Writers do not exist in a bubble. We are not in this perfect sanctuary of everything is great. I'm in my writing time and nothing else can affect that. We are human beings who happen to have very creative minds and ways of doing things trying to exist in a world that is not built for us. We have issues. We have things that we have to work through. We have stressors. We have other people we have to deal with. It's not just us living in our own little world writing to our heart's content. We would love for that to be the case. And there are a lot of reasons why it shouldn't be like that. And we should, you know, be grateful for the fact that it's not like that. And maybe I'll talk about that some other time too. However, you have to make writing fit into your life. You cannot structure your life around writing because everything will fall apart. That's not easy to do. And I'm working on some kind of guide to help you with that. Barriers happen. Zero writing days happen. The most important thing though, and I am still learning this too. I learned it the lesson again last week and will likely learn it again is that even if you have a terrible, terrible day and you don't write anything or you don't write as much as you want to or you don't write what you want to or you're not happy with what you wrote today, you still have to get up tomorrow and try again. You cannot let yesterday's shortcomings affect what you do today. I may not, not have written a lot that day, but the next day, I met my writing goal for the day. I did not let that awful writing day make me think, oh, yesterday was a horrible day and I just, I can't do it anymore. Keep going. You may be behind. I am behind. I'm not still gonna stop though. You may not feel like it. You may be struggling. You may just not wanna write at all. Keep doing it anyway. The more that you keep writing anyway, the more you train yourself to write despite everything else that might be going on in your life. For some of us, writing is the thing that keeps us going. For some of us, the world is spinning too fast and we can't handle it a lot of the time. But what grounds us is the fact that we can write about it or we can write to escape from it. Whatever you use writing for, in your life to cope with the things going on in your life. Don't forget that you have that. Keep writing. Even if you have one day where you don't write anything, three days in a row, 400 days in a row, <laughs> you can get back to it. It doesn't matter what you did or didn't do yesterday. Today, you can sit down and you can write something and I hope that you do. What just fell off the roof? I guess I'm done now.